The premier has a history of saying no to the massive job-ending lockdowns called for by some of Alberta's health care professionals. In the fall of 2020, when healthcare workers called for a circuit breaker lockdown as COVID cases soared, Premier Jason Kenney said this. Well, uh, what you describe as a lockdown, first of all, constitutes a massive uh, invasion of the exercise of people's fundamental rights. A similar decision a year ago when the Premier kept some restrictions but said no to a lockdown following rising cases during the holiday season. And given the fact that our case numbers, hospitalizations, and positivity rate for testing remains high, Alberta's current health measures will remain in effect for at least two more weeks. In June, the phrase that would define the season, Premier Kenny said Alberta was open for summer despite fears of the then new Delta variant. Promoters of fear will have lots of variants to come in the future. There will be new variants. They'll be more contagious. The scientists will study them. Only to apologize just three months later. No, I, I apologize for uh, having uh, embraced the uh, pu public shift from pandemic to endemic, which was clearly uh, premature. Now it's a new year, same old problems as healthcare workers again call for a circuit breaker lockdown to combat Omicron. This government seems to make decisions based on hope and are prepared to gamble. Heather Smith leads the Nurses Union, one of the three largest unions in Alberta, and they all want stricter public health measures as cases rise and staffers call in sick after testing positive. We have situations where nurses are working, although it's prohibited under our contract, are actually working up to 20 hour shifts, 24 hour shifts, because there are no replacement staff. I reached out to the Premier's office for comment in an email. They tell me a circuit breaker is not on the table and not being considered. In Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.